What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with a PlayStation Classic. Today I'm going to show you how to run your games in NTSC mode. So we'll be running at 60 FPS instead of 50 in PAL mode. As of making this video, the only way to do this is to access the hidden PCSX menu while you're playing a game. And that requires a very specific type of keyboard to work. The only keyboard that I've been able to get to work is this Corsair K55. Now I've tried about 10 other keyboards, ranging from my Mac keyboard, HP, Dell, Aki, Re, and even Blackweb from Walmart. Nothing else works except for this Corsair K55, at least for me. I've also heard rumor that the Corsair K65 and 75 also work. If you end up trying this and you find another type of keyboard that works for you, please let us know in the comments below and I'll try to make a little list of them. Now it's time to move over to the PlayStation Classic. I'm just going to plug this USB keyboard in, get everything booted up. Okay, so I have the keyboard plugged into the second USB port on the PlayStation Classic. I'm just going to go ahead and start up Tekken 3. You might notice there's a mouse cursor up in the top left hand corner. I don't have a mouse plugged in, that just shows up when you have a keyboard plugged in. Or a keyboard that's going to work for this. Round 1 now that we're into some gameplay, I'm going to press escape on my keyboard. It's going to bring me into the menu. You want to go to PC SX menu. From here, options. As you can see, there's a lot of different settings in here. Controls, cheats, extra stuff. We can't do much yet because we don't have access to like external USB. So that's where load CD image would come in if USB was detected. But it's not right now because the unit hasn't been hacked. So we're going to be focusing on options. I'm going to show FPS. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and resume game. So if you take a look at the bottom left hand corner, we're running at 50 FPS. Drops down to 49 every once in a while. And I can really feel the slowness of this game because I'm so used to playing it in NTSC mode. Get to the next round. I'm going to change it to NTSC. Press escape on the keyboard. PC SX menu. Options. Region. NTSC. Back up. Resume. And we're at 60 FPS. It just feels so much better like this. There are some other settings we can mess around with. I'm going to go back to Options, Display, Video Output Mode. Leave this on OpenGL. It will not work with SDL Window. Software Filter. Now I'm not sure if it's working with Tekken 3 or not. I'm just going to turn on Scale to X. And we also have Scan Lines. Now they're not the best. And specifically in this game, a little bit of the screen's missing. But I just wanted to show you that they were in here. See, part of the screen there isn't covered with the scan lines. So I'm going to turn that back off. I'm going to go to Eagle 2X. Advanced. Show CPU load. And you could save global config, but I recommend not messing with this just yet. Cheats. Extra stuff. Run BIOS, run EXE, Memory Card Manager. Resume game. And that's pretty much it. You now have the games running at 60 <laughs> FPS instead of 50. We're running in NTSC mode. And it's an all around better experience with the PlayStation Classic. Now when this thing is fully hacked, it'll probably be accessible from the controller by some kind of a hotkey or maybe even a button on the unit itself, some kind of button combination. But for now, if you have a compatible keyboard, 
you can set your PlayStation Classic to play games in 60 FPS. After you reset the system, all of those settings will be back to normal unless you save global config. So if you do end up changing something and it maybe freezes up, just go ahead, unplug the system for a few seconds, plug it back in, and boot it up. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. I want to give a big shout out to Retro Gaming Arts for finding this out. They actually just stumbled across this. They were lucky enough to have a compatible keyboard on hand, and that's the first one they tried when they plugged it in. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.